Tucker and Sarah Beth have brought us together for an occasion of great joy and a cause for boundless celebration. Having found each other, they have built the relationship that will serve them as the foundation for their marriage. They have chosen each one of you to be here with them to witness their wedding vows as they embark on a new journey as husband and wife. Growing up, um, we were not always the closest of friends. When she moved to New York, there were moments that I found myself thinking that life was a little easier with us being apart. Um, and when she moved back from New York, a few things changed. Firstly, she'd been holding her own in Manhattan, beating the pavement, being a performer, living in the Bahamas on her own for several years, and that had changed her worldview a lot. But also, she met Tucker. And for the first time in what seemed like a long time, we agreed on something. But let me emphasize, early on, Gloria Sue Miller White put her stamp of approval on Tucker. That had never happened on any other male that Sarah had dated. When you officially agreed to date me in the paint section of Home Depot, I knew you were the one for me. As that crush quickly turned into love, I realized that I needed you in my life forever. This was, I think I should feel like this. Yeah. I think this is a really good one. I often say that I don't know how I tricked you into choosing me. But T, I will work each day to show you how grateful I am that you did. I first met Tucker when we were working at Apple at the store here in Oklahoma City. And I would say my first impression of Tucker, as is probably everyone else's, is that he loves to have fun. He's probably one of the goofiest people you'll ever meet. Yeah. And as we started to hang out more, inevitably the conversation always steered towards Sarah Beth. Tucker and Sarah, you fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You both are choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, and makes each day brighter. You quickly learned my Chick-fil-A order, what shoe size I am, learned to love my trash TV shows, and eloquently explained that polos don't just don't work for me. <laughs> we have already endured so many trials throughout our young relationship, yet you've embraced me on my worst days and loved me when I felt unlovable. You lifted me up when I felt I may never re-emerge from darkness. I looked up one day and Sarah wasn't just my sister, but my best friend. Um, the day I knew that Tucker was the one, sorry, was the day my mother died. I called him before Sarah knew. And without a thought, he dropped everything he got in his car, he came to get me and Sam and drove to go find her. And then that boy spent every single moment caring for us. I asked, you know, hey, did you get enough time off for work or do you want me to talk to one of the leaders for you because I know you're busy? And he said, no, I already got it squared away. They gave me enough time off so that I could support Sarah and Emily and their family. And it wasn't till later that I was actually talking to one of the leaders and it wasn't so much that Tucker asked to have this time off. It was more of, he basically, in a respectful way, dictated that he needed this time off, regardless of what they said, so that he could be with his future family in law. And so that was kind of when I knew that he had a really pure heart, and he really cared deeply for Sarah, and that he knew that his place was there, regardless of what any outward consequences were. Oh my gosh. You look beautiful, honey. You look great. Can I kiss? Is that against the rules? <laughs> you look beautiful. I love this dress. <laughs> We're almost there. You nervous? Good. Are you? Yeah. Are you ready to do this thing? <laughs> we have to wait a little bit, baby.
I really do think that Sarah has, has really latched on to the right one. And, and we certainly, I am certainly glad to have him to be officially part of our family, just like uh, uh, Emily was saying, we spent many of the, the nights uh, together playing games and what have you, and we fit in as a family. I realized that not only Sarah's lives, but all of our lives were better with Tucker in it. Tucker, you fit in our family like love. We love you, Glow loves you, and most importantly, Sarah loves you. From this moment on, with you by my side, I will promise to always live by these vows that I make today. I promise to give you the best future I can and to be the best father I can when we welcome children into this world. I pledge today to have all the patience and passion that love demands, and in the laughter and in the silence, I'll be forever by your side. Thank you for choosing me, for being my favorite human, and entrusting me with your heart. These things I promise to you today and for all the tomorrows. I love you the most. I vow to you that I will spend each day treasuring you. I promise to love you when it is easy and to love you even more when it isn't. To be a comfort and safe haven in your difficult times. To listen deeply when you speak and to weigh the effects of my words. To consider you and all that I do and to put our family first. I pledge to never turn down an opportunity for a Tex-Mex date night or a Survivor Marathon. To always save the last two pieces of the puzzle so that we can finish it together. To share the bad cop role with you when our future little ones act honorary. To never judge you for wearing socks with your Birkenstocks. To celebrate you, push you, and adore you. To never take you for granted. I promise to laugh with you, go on adventures with you, be proud of you, grow old with you, and find new reasons to love you every day. Thank you for choosing me, for being my favorite human and entrusting me with your heart. These things I promise to you for today and for all of my tomorrows. I love you the most. Today, you kiss to become husband and wife. Today, your kiss is an eternal promise. Tucker, you may kiss your beautiful bride.